If you are honest to, with your preparation, you will definitely get success. This is the mantra I have. Welcome back everyone to our Toppers interview series for NABAR 2022. Today, we are having a very special topper who is Subhashi Sarkar. Now you would be wondering why I am calling him very special one. Subhashi is a special because he has graduated in agriculture. He has done post-graduation in agricultural chemicals and soil sciences. Not only that, he has also enrolled in PhD in the same. But he cleared NABAR in a general discipline. So that is why Subhashis is very very special. So let's start our interview through a quick introduction from his side. Subhashis, I'll request you to please in, uh, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Subhashis uh, Sarkar. Uh, so I have done my graduation in agriculture from Uttar Bangal Krishi Vishwa uh, In 2017, I passed uh, my uh, graduation. Then thereafter, I joined uh, IERI, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, New Delhi for pursuing my master's, uh, as you have mentioned. And in 2019, I have completed my MSc. Thereafter, I joined in the same division of the institute to pursue my PhD. And at present, I am a PhD fourth year student. So that's all about my academic background. Now, I'll make all the students and our viewers who are watching us. You would be very, very amazed with our candidate. At the same time, you would have many, many questions. आपके मन में ये क्वेश्चन सुन रहे हैं कि सुभाषिष ने ग्रेजुएशन और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन एज वेल एज पीएचडी तो अपने स्पेशलाइजेशन में किया है तो क्यों वो जनरल स्ट्रीम में अप्लाई करे कर रहे होंगे एट द सेम टाइम उनकी स्ट्रेटजी क्या है टाइम टेबल क्या है व्हाट वर हिज चैलेंजेस होल्ड होल्ड फॉर अ मिनट हम इन सारे क्वेश्चंस के आंसर देने वाले हैं इस इंटरव्यू में बट लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट विद एन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन दैट इज इंटरव्यू एंड सुभाषिष हैड अ वेरी स्पेशल एंड वेरी वेरी ग्रेट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस in his NABAR 2022. So Subhashish, can you take us through your interview? Sure sir. Uh, the interview was very good. Uh, literally I would like to say that I was enjoying while well. I am giving my interview. And it was lasted for as I can recall for 25 to 26 minutes. So it was started in like this way. Uh, I have mentioned in my DF that I am very much passionate about football. Yeah. So the chairman sir asked me, uh, have you watched the World Cup? I said yes sir. Uh, then uh, he said that, uh, have you watched the final? Uh, I said, yes, sir, I watched the final. Then he uh, again questioned me that, uh, are you a Messi fan? Uh, I said that, yes, sir, Messi is a great footballer, but I am a great admirer of Cristiano Ronaldo. Then just uh, as a good, matlab, it, uh, matlab, normal small talk. Hua. Then he uh, uh, started that, Shubhashish, you are a PhD student. So tell me about your research topic and research problem. So I mentioned my thesis topic and a general, uh, general thing. Uh, then he mentioned that, uh, can you uh, tell us in some layman's language? So I mentioned in some layman's language that my work is mainly focused on the risk assessment on pesticide on different environmental compartments. Then he mentioned that, okay, your work is not focused towards farmers. You are more uh, focused towards environment. I said yes sir because environment is a concern to us in recent days and we are looking forward to mitigate such problems. Uh, then he uh, mentioned that okay you are doing research on NRM group. I mentioned yes sir. Suddenly he mentioned that uh, uh, Shubhashish can you tell us that uh, some controversy is going on in ICR and regarding that DG of your ICR has told their scientists to uh, not speak uh, in front of media regarding that issue. Can you tell me that uh, what is the issue going on? Then I said, uh, sir, it is uh, most probably on Dhara Master. Uh, then I just got, uh, I, I just got from his face that yes, I got right. Mm -hmm. Then he mentioned that, uh, can you tell us what is going on? I said, sir, uh, there is some positive part and there is some negative part also. Scientists are telling like this, but uh, activists are telling like this, but still some concern is there that we need to be focused on. But uh, regarding the positive point of view, I I uh, told them, uh, I told him uh, to the board that GM is already there in our food system and if we are looking towards sustainability, we need to adopt GM. Uh, I feel that, I felt uh, in that moment that yes, that my answer is quite satisfied to the board. Uh, so after that, that uh, ma'am was there, uh, she uh, started talking and she asked me that, uh, Shubhashish, can you tell me about Nabar? I started Nabar's vision and mission and in that uh, while answering I mentioned SIG 
and uh, she uh, countering me that uh, what is SAG? I told uh, then again she uh, at, while answering I mentioned that SAG bank linkage program yeah. and uh, she again uh, told me that uh, what is the uh, what is SAG bank linkage program when it was started how it is going on what is your thinking this type of question she asked me okay. and uh, what is the present status like this uh, the question uh, coming like this one. And uh, what I was uh, thinking at that moment that uh, uh, while giving answering to the chairman sir or uh, another sir was there, uh, I was uh, by uh, looking their face, I was thinking that yes, my answering um, while uh, I'm whatever I'm saying it is uh, satisfying. But uh, I was not uh, getting the face uh, of uh, the madam uh, there uh, because uh, she was just uh, shaking his uh, head like that. So I was not sure that while uh, that whatever I am telling, uh, am I uh, telling right or not? Okay, that went well. After that, that uh, another sir was there. Uh, he asked me about uh, that you were working on the NRM group. Tell me something about NRM initiatives of Navard. Yeah. Uh, I said uh, while answering that question, I was in mind that I have uh, I do I do not want to tell about the UP NRM. And Sir has picked that one only. Yeah. Uh, he uh, told me, uh, you mentioned all those things, but you haven't mentioned the UPNR. I said, yes, sir, I know it. Uh, then uh, he told me that uh, what is the full form and what is doing. I just uh, tell that, yes, yes, these are going on, this, this, this thing. Then he uh, uh, he questioned me another, that uh, what are the international organizations associated yeah. with UPNR? At that moment, I was not sure about. I know that there is two, uh, is uh, two organization was there, and one name was there in my mind, and another one I just forgot. Uh, but sir uh, was quite cordial. Uh, he gave me time. He told me yes, you can. You remember, and suddenly I just got the name that KFW was there. Uh, then uh, one or two questions from number subsidiaries. What are the number okay. subsidiaries? What are the fully owned number subsidiaries? Uh, like that, this type of uh, one-two question, one-two question on my research field also he asked. Uh, like this, the interview was you know, gone. So I think that uh, looking at your answer solutions, your interview was very, very well and like it went really well. But I am very, very inquisitive about one question. Didn't the interview panel ask you that why, in spite of having such an agricultural background, uh, why you are applying in general stream? Did they ask about it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just forgot to mention this question. Uh, the chairman, sir, in his very last question, uh, just asked the same question that you have uh, told me right now. The, uh, you are a PhD scholar, you are doing research on soil science. So, why are not uh, you applied from the specialist stream? Why general stream? Uh, then I mentioned, uh, sir, uh, last year I also give Nabar uh, and last year I gave in, I gave in agriculture, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't make it out uh, from the mains. Uh, so from then only I was having in my mind uh, in the next year, I have to clear the exam. Yes. At any cost, at any point, I just have to clear the exam. So while uh, thinking that when uh, when I should start there uh, start for the exam, uh, I was just having one question in my mind that the same thing can be repeated. That means uh, last year I gave in agriculture. This time also I can give in agriculture or soil science. But the same thing can be happened because uh, the seat was limited. A uh, seat. All, all uh, in uh, all the notification we have seen that one, two, maximum three, four seats are there in the specialist stream. So I, uh, I was in my mind, uh, if I have to clear the exam, I need to be more focused. I need to be more. Uh, I need to be look upon the cost benefit ratio. Yeah. So I thought general stream comprises uh, general stream. If I give the exam on general stream, it will come on around uh, 30 35 30, uh, around 30 seats uh, will be there so that will be more beneficial for me if i uh, give the exam on the general stream yes concern was there challenges was there but i was back up in my mind if i start early my preparation and before notification uh, one thing i uh, want to mention sir uh, because i have the agriculture background i know that this is my cup of tea yeah 
for this i need not to devote that much amount of time or that much amount of effort that a candidate who don't have the uh, agriculture background he, he or she has to put yeah. but i was lacking in the esi portion i was not aware of the esi in that way a general candidate should have so i was in my mind that uh, before the notification if i completed the static part of the esi i will definitely have the age over other candidate mm -hmm. because uh, we all know that uh, sorry you also, uh, all know that uh, the general stream the candidate most of the candidate have some upsc background mm -hmm. so i well, i was knowing that uh, yes i do, do not have any upsc background but i have that uh, i whatever i have is the time mm -hmm. yes uh, I was doing research on my lab, and apart from that, I was have, I am staying in hostel, so I am uh, much uh, uh, whatever I can say that uh, very much pretty amount of time that I can devote for my preparation. So I started early, and I started with the ESI study, and mm -hmm. I was in my mind that within uh, that when the notification will come, I should be ready with the static ESI portion. Apart from the uh, other things. Okay. So that's why uh, I told in the interview in a short span, uh, uh, whatever I'm uh, right now I'm telling is the long thing. But in the interview, I just told them that yes. last year I gave in agriculture. This time I thought that if I started early, I will definitely make it up. Just uh, as he would have said. So quick, uh, quick tips to the candidate from the interview experience of Shubhashi. First, that interview is not about knowing your knowledge, but rather knowing about your personality. Second, a relay of questions may be asked to you, so the measurability of your interview lies not in the hands of interviewer, but rather in your hands. And third thing, while preparation, as Subhashi has mentioned, start your preparation as early as possible. Don't wait for the notification. Now comes Subhashi's a very, very important question. We will keep your agricultural background aside. I will treat you like a general student because you have cleared from the general stream. Yes. Please share with the candidates your timetable as well as your strategy so that you would be inspiration as well as student could learn from that. Uh, sir, one thing I uh, need to mention here for the first that uh, in my study desk, I always have the uh, syllabus in, pasted in the wall. Yes. So, as I can, uh, I can recall, I started from May and the notification came on 12th July, uh, as uh, I guess, 12th July is the day the notification came. And so from the starting point, I was uh, having in my mind, I have to read all those things that is required for this examination before the notification came. So the thing that is मेरे को चार बार पढ़ना है पांच बार पढ़ना है ये चीज तो है ये चीज तो बाद में रहेगा नोटिफिकेशन आने के बाद तुमको रिवाइज करना पड़ेगा पर पहले तो पढ़ना पड़ेगा जो ईएसआई पोर्शन है स्टैटिक पोर्शन है एग्रीकल्चर एआरडी पोर्शन है क्योंकि स्टैटिक क्वेश्चन उतना भी नहीं आता पर पढ़ना तो है तुम छोड़ के तो नहीं जा सकते हो ना तो उसी हिसाब से मैंने रूटीन फिक्स किया था Yes, uh, for the prelims, I have some specific routine. For the mains, I have some specific routine. But uh, in general, I was uh, in that process. My routine always tells me that whatever the subject you need to be uh, covered, you need to be covered on a daily basis. You have to be in the learning process. You have to be accustomed with the syllabus on a daily basis. Those things that are mentioned in the syllabus, that need to be set up in your mind. Uh, that globalization was there. Uh, poverty was there, agriculture, mein, uh, animal husbandry was there, fishery was there. Yes. So whatever notes you are following, whatever courses you are going through, you have to be in your mind. Yes. Uh, मेरे को भी ऐसे ही रूटीन था कि आ, मैं आज पांच सब्जेक्ट पढ़ लूं छह सब्जेक्ट पढ़ लूं बट व्हाट आई नीड टू मेंशन हियर यू हैव टू बी ऑनेस्ट यू हैव टू बी ऑनेस्ट विद योर रूटीन अगर आप एक दिन में पांच सब्जेक्ट नहीं पढ़ पा रहे हो नेक्स्ट डे यू विल गेट सम टाइम टू कवर अप दैट थिंग आल्सो सो इफ यू आर ऑनेस्ट टू विद योर प्रिपरेशन यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट सक्सेस दिस इज द मंत्रा आई हैव जस्ट बिलीव इन योर प्रिपरेशन बी डेडिकेटेड बी पेशेंट रूटीन अपने हिसाब से फिक्स करो कोई आपको रूटीन बना के देगा तो काम नहीं करेगा क्योंकि आपका टाइम आपको ही पता है ये yes. आप कैसे कर पाओगे व्हाट एवर द फ्री टाइम यू हैव दैट हाउ यू कैन यूटिलाइज इट एंड व्हाट एवर व्हाट आर द ऑब्स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट यू नीड टू बी टैकल इट आउट सो 
इस चीज को फैक्टर दिस दिस आर द फैक्टर्स दैट यू नीड टू बी कंसीडर्ड व्हाइल प्रिपेयरिंग योर रूटीन एक रूटीन फिक्स करना है आपके नीड के हिसाब से कि क्या चीज मेरे को पढ़ना है क्या चीज मेरे को नहीं पढ़ना है उसी हिसाब से आपको रूटीन बनाइए बट बी फ्लेक्सिबल एंड बी स्टैटिक एंड बी ऑनेस्ट टू दैट ओके सो व्हिच इज यू मेंशनड अबाउट नोट मेकिंग सो डिड यू प्रिपेयर नोट्स ऑन डेली बेसिस और डिड और व्हाट वाज योर व्यू इन कंटेक्स्ट ऑफ नोट्स Yes, uh, sir. Uh, to be honest, uh, as I have already mentioned that I was having an ample amount of time, and uh, for that I need to thanks my chairperson because uh, she was so supporting person. She always supports me that yes, you can you go to the hostel and read, and so I was having some time. So from the very first day, I was knowing that uh, if I make notes by my own. it will help me in the revision process mm. because uh, on an average uh, before prelims or before mains you need at least 3 4 revision of the all the subjects all the whatever you have read, uh, read you need uh, at least 3 to 4 re- uh, readings before the exam so i was from the starting point uh, from the starting point i was having in my in my mind that if i make notes that will help me in that process only so from the very first date i started preparing my own notes and regarding notes i would like to tell that i have two uh, copies of pib yes. that uh, the daily pib i just gone through the websites uh, just gone through the websites i make my own notes yes it will take time it will take at least 2 to 3 hours daily okay. but sometimes if you missed uh, you watch manish sir video that will be helpful okay. because i i i uh, do that in that way and regarding esi static i have some i have a uh, i will uh, diary that uh, have some notes uh, handy notes that i can revisit any time i want okay. and regarding agriculture i didn't make anything but for the esi and current portion i regularly make up my notes yes and uh, what about descriptive answer writing because for many of the general students descriptive answer writing is a major challenge yes. so did you face the same challenge and if yes then did you did practice of answer writing daily yes uh, for the descriptive i would like to mention two things because descriptive answer writing for the uh, uh, esi and art paper and for the english is different because in english what i felt that whatever your content yes content is a matter but the first priority should be whatever you are typing not writing whatever you are typing that should be correct that should be grammatically correct that should be punctually correct yes. because and that will come with your practice first of all हम हमारे पास उतना भी टाइपिंग स्पीड नहीं होता है जो एक आ, मतलब डेस्क पे हर वक्त काम करते हैं उसका होता है yeah. तो ये चीज मेरे लिए कॉन्स्टेंट था आई एम स्लो टाइप बट विथ प्रैक्टिस आई गेन सम स्पेस Uh, I gained some pace, and uh, I was in my mind that I need to practice uh, in a word file, mm-hmm. not in a uh, sorry in a notepad, not in a word. Because word में तो auto pick up कर लेते हैं grammar. तो notepad में अगर practice करेंगे तो उसको जाके grammarly में check करेंगे तो हमको पता चल जाएगा कि क्या गलती हम लोग कर रहे हैं. तो daily basis में ये करना है. Whatever you read, just uh, whatever you read in newspaper, whatever you read in any website. Uh, regarding any topic regarding maybe it's uh, have some economic importance maybe it's have some agriculture importance just read it just read it and then one or two days after write it yes. with with proper time for english i have done this and for uh, agriculture uh, for the other paper esi and art regular basis i was uh, picking two three question i was enrolled in a course uh, so i regularly practice those question and that gave me a self confidence over me okay so much i think for all the viewers this could be a topper's habit to adapt and subhashish mentioned whatever you are reading on daily basis please try to do a habit of typing those on notepad and then check it on grammarly and then also check the content out of it yes. right subhashish yes sir. my now next question for you would be that throughout the preparation it's a rigorous process for a candidate who is solely preparing for mm-hmm. nava exam right mm-hmm. phase 1 then phase 2 mm-hmm. or phir aata hai interview mm-hmm. is pure process mein aisa kya challenge tha ya fir what were the number of challenges which you faced पहले वक्त तो सर मतलब ये ऐसे एक एग्जाम प्रोसेस है जिसमें हम तीनों सीजन देख लेते हैं समर देन देन रेन विंटर सो 
as i can recall i was started in may and this is now in march uh, this is now february result came in just 7th so it's a long process but you have to believe on this preparation this is the first thing matlab rukna bana hai yeah matlab whatever constraints will come constraints will come constraints will come on daily basis month basis in your personal life whatever it may be but uh, You have to prepare with this thing. मतलब आपको रेडी होना चाहिए कि ये प्रॉब्लम आ सकता है इसको मैं ऐसे इनकाउंटर करूंगा तो सर मेरे लिए प्रॉब्लम था एक तो मेरे को रिसर्च करना है लैब जाना होता है तो ये एक कॉन्स्टेंस था क्योंकि दैट वॉज अ डिफरेंट थिंग फॉर दैट आई नीड टू सेटअप माई माइंड इन दैट वे एंड ड्यूरिंग प्रिपेरेशन आई नीड टू कीप एवरी थिंग इन दैट थिंग इन दैट वे so ye constraints mere liye tha but with time i get accustomed and i figured it out that how i could manage my lab how i could manage my study ye ek tha aur ek cheez sir uh, from the back of my mind tha ki uh, i do not know about my candidates who are going to compete with me i just know that uh, upsc ka student bahut deta hai तो ये एक डर पहले से था पर वो बाद में चला गया था कि वो लोग तो ऑलरेडी पढ़ के आते हैं ये सब चीज तो उनको पता होता है तो yes. मैं क्या करूंगा पर थैंक्स टू सर अनुचिंदा सर वीडियो आई एम ऑनेस्टली सेइंग आफ्टर प्रीलिम्स आफ्टर प्रीलिम्स आई एनरोल्ड योर कोर्स एंड आई वॉच द सर वीडियो द ई एस आई क्वेश्चन एंड द इकोनॉमिक सर्विस वीडियो that gave me next level of confidence uh, so and wh- whenever i just got time i watched those video those video helped me a lot and from there i uh, whatever i have read uh, for the esi study i just shaped my preparation in that way and uh, regarding uh, uh, challenges these are the thing i would like to mention sir okay and for all the general viewers as well as general candidates who are preparing for nava ne if any tips or advice which these candidates could learn from you any advice sir uh, even words of wisdom would be very very fruitful sure, sure sir sir mai ek cheez jo pehle bhi bol chuka hu ki har ek ka har ek tarika hota hai har ek strategy hota hai just make your strategy with your own uh, whatever factors need to be considered वो आप चौकआउट कर लीजिए कि ये ये प्रॉब्लम आ सकता है ये ये प्रॉब्लम को मैं ऐसे इनकाउंटर करूंगा टाइम एक कॉन्स्टेंस हो सकता है मेटीरियल एक कॉन्स्टेंस हो सकता है तो उसके लिए मैं बोलूंगा कि कोई एक पर्टिकुलर सोर्स को बिलीव करना है ये पहले चीज है कि आप जो जहां से भी पढ़ रहे हो अगर आप सेल्फ स्टडी भी कर रहे हो तो भी जहां से हेल्प ले रहे हो कोई कोर्स ले रहे हो तो जिस कोर्स से पढ़ रहे हो पहले बात तो आपको उसमें बिलीव करना है कि हाँ ये मेटीरियल में जो है वो मेरे को आना चाहिए वो मैं अच्छे से पढ़ूंगा एंड आई विल कॉम कर इट ये होना चाहिए और एक चीज मैं बोलना चाहता हूँ सर द थ्री वर्ड आई रेगुलरली सेइंग दिस थ्री दैट हार्ड वर्क पेशेंस डेडिकेशन ये तीन अगर होगा तो कोई भी एग्जाम आप निकाल सकते हो Yes, and I will add one more thing which I have learned from you actually honestly, and that is honesty itself. Subhash yes. ne is pure video me ek chiz bataye that you all the students who are preparing they have to be honest with yourself. Yes. Maybe it may be strategy, maybe it may be timetable. Apne saath honest hone ye bahut important hai kyunki wo aapko ek realistic touch deta dega aapki preparation ke liye. And one thing I would like to mention. Yes, yes, Subhash. Uh, you have to believe on yourself. Yes. Ki mere ko aana hai. मेरे को करना है और मैं करके ही रहूंगा ये चीज होना है क्योंकि मतलब ऐसे टाइम भी आते हैं जब हम बहुत लो फील करते हैं और हमारा जो मतलब एज है तो उस एज में बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम आता है बीट फ्रॉम योर फैमिली बीट फ्रॉम योर पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम बीट एकेडमिक और बीट वर्क लाइफ सो दो आर द प्रॉब्लम विल डेफिनेटली कम बट वन थिंग यू हैव टू कीप इन योर माइंड दैट येस आई एम इन द प्रोसेस I need to believe in the process, and I will definitely encounter all this problem, and I will conquer it. ये belief अगर खुद में होगा, जैसे कि हम लोग सर football में बोलते हैं, मतलब ninety uh, minutes होने के पहले जमीन मत छोड़ना. Yes. So ये चीज होना चाहिए कि without the game over, you can't leave the field, you can't leave the pitch, whatever it may be. Yes, that's a really great learning for all the candidates from Subhashish. Now the last question which comes to my mind is. the very question which all the students are having right now many of the students who are preparing unka bahut alag alag background hoga it may be commerce it may be banking 
it will be engineers, it will be even UPSC prepared few candidates. But all these people are preparing for Nawal. But here, if you see Subhashi's case, he is a research scholar who already PhD may enroll. Now, my mind is a question that he would have got a good pay hefty job, or maybe he would have completed his PhD as well as uh, done his research further. But still, he chose Nawal. So I just want to know Subhashi why Nawal. सर ये चीज तो मैं भी प्रिपेयर करके गया था इंटरव्यू के पहले कि ये चीज मतलब मेरा जो सीनियर्स है नाबार्ड में ऑलरेडी काम कर रहे हैं तो वो लोग बोला था मतलब दे आर आल्सो फ्रॉम आईआरआई सो दे हैव टोल्ड मी दैट ये चीज पर के मतलब अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करके जाना मैंने प्रिपेयर तो किया था पर जैसे मैंने पहले बोला कि उसमें एक ऑनेस्टी होना चाहिए क्योंकि जो सामने बैठ रहा है उनका जो एक्सपीरियंस है वो तुम्हारा उम्र है तो अगर तुम ऐसे कुछ बताओगे कि जो मतलब आर्टिफिशियल है वो लोग पकड़ लेगा तो उसी हिसाब से मैं प्रिपेयर किया था पर आई वाज नॉट हैविंग दैट चांस टू से बट इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन द चेयरमैन सर हैज आस्क्ड मी दैट शुभाशीष वुड यू लाइक टू मेंशन समथिंग आई सेड सर अबाउट नाबार्ड और अबाउट माय सेल्फ uh he said anything you want to and at that moment i got the catch yes i got the platform yeah. to express my view so i said that uh, yes sir i have to, uh, i uh, want to mention something mai aise bola tha ki jaise ki mera 4 saal agriculture ka graduation hai to in the fourth year we have a roi program रूरल एग्रीकल्चर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस वो तीन महीने के होता है हमको मतलब गांव में जाके रहना पड़ता है और उधर जाके फील्ड में विजिट करना पड़ता है तो आई मेंशन दैट सर इन द रॉय प्रोग्राम फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम वी सी द सिनेरियो ऑफ द रूरल इंडिया द रियल सिनेरियो ऑफ रूरल इंडिया दैट व्हाट एवर द व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स फार्मर्स आर फेसिंग इन द ग्राउंड एंड देन व्हेन आई जॉइंड इन द आईआरआई I see that lots of basic and strategic research are going on, uh, be it in the molecular, be it in the artificial intelligence, or any other field. Lots of lots of lots of uh, strategic research are going on. But I felt that there is some gap. Uh, the lack to land gap is there. The research we are doing that are not reaching to the ground in the true sense. And I mentioned this thing that these are the this is the this is where Navard is uh, doing an excellent role, be it by uh, be it in the form of delivering credit, be it in the form of uh, financial uh, development, be it in the supervisory of uh, supervision of uh, different uh, institution, and uh, be it on the research and development also. So I said that, sir, I have the experience of agriculture, academic experience of agriculture for the last seven years, and I have the research experience also. So research experience taught me how to analyze the thing critically, how to formulate a project, how to uh, to set an objective to reach a goal. Yes. So I think that if I combine my this uh, these three things, I can definitely contribute in the vision and mission of the NABAR. That was a very very impressive answer from you, Subhashish. I think. many of our viewers as well as nabard aspirants will get inspiration as well as some of the reasons to choose nabard as their career option from subhashish answer as we all know ki hame har time ek driving force ki zarurat hoti hai hoti hai ki hum nabard ko join kyu kare and today with subhashish answer we actually have got some substance that why we can choose nabard as our career choice so subhashish i really thank you it was very very warm and welcoming to meet you okay you have you have shared your wisdom as well as your experiences with us and thank you for that with this we come to an end uh, in this uh, topus interview if you like our topus interview series please like our video subscribe our channel as well as press the bell icon and whatever you feel regarding our topper interview series please mention that in comment section aapko jo bhi lag raha hai aapke jo bhi doubts hai aapke jo bhi reactions hai प्लीज कमेंट सेक्शन में मेंशन करिए थैंक यू